Okay, let's do a demo. And this is a Git demo, and it's going to be in four parts. Part one, we're going to initialize the Git repository. Part two, I'll show you how to use Git plus Visual Studio and the Azure Repos web interface. Part three, we'll talk about getting latest, so taking changes from the server down to your local workstation. And then part four, we're going to take changes from your local machine and push them back up to Azure Repos. All right, so this is going to be part one of four, initializing a Git repository. So we're going to start off by creating a new project in Azure DevOps and then set up a .git ignore file. And yeah, part one, let's dive in. Okay, we're connected to pudding.bende.com. We're in the default collection. And let's start this demo by creating a new project. We'll click on new project. We'll enter a project name, in this case, git demo. And the default options that it gives us are probably fine, but let's open up advanced and just take a look at them. Right now, since we're doing a Git demo, we're going to choose Git as our version control provider. And well, we're not thinking about work item process stuff right now, so let's just leave this alone. We'll cover this in a later module. Click the Create button. We eventually end up at this page right here, which is the basic overview summary board, the basic view of our new team project. Down the left-hand side, we've got overview, boards, repos, pipelines, test plans, and artifacts. And since we're doing stuff with Git repos and version control, we're going to go into the repos section. Since this is a brand new project, this Git repository is empty. And we could start working right now, but probably what you want to do is you want to go down to the bottom and add something called a Git ignore file. A Git ignore file helps to govern what files the version control repository, in this case Git, cares about or doesn't care about. And what's nice is if you open this drop-down menu, there are options for a whole bunch of different types of technology. Since we're going to be doing demos in .NET, search for Visual Studio. Visual Studio is one of the options. Choose that, and then click Initialize. I also kept the box checked for Create a README File, and that creates, guess what, a README file for your project. This just gives you a place where you can put some basic information that's viewable when somebody comes to this page. And this stuff that's right here is the contents of that file. You also have the git ignore file, and let's just go take a look at that right now. And inside of this, you see that there's a whole bunch of stuff. And if you've been doing work with Visual Studio and .NET Core and all that kind of fun Microsoft-y code for a long time, you're gonna recognize some things that, well, if you were a developer and you had these on your disk, you would definitely not wanna check them into version control. For example, you probably would never check in your debug or your release or any of these things. So if you have any folders named debug or bin debug or obj, something like that, these items right here say, hey, Git, don't pay attention to these. That basically means that anything that's in that folder or anything that's a file that follows one of these patterns becomes a local only file that never goes into version control. Okay, so that's the first part of the demo. In the next part of the demo, let's use Visual Studio to actually start working with this repository.